The EFF is celebrating its ninth anniversary in Mangawung in the Free State today. EFF National Spokesperson Veronica Menta says the party prides itself with the strides it has made to address the social ills in the country. She says the EFF has made an impact in dealing with inequality and the land issue. Earlier, SABC News reporter Apumelele Mjalani spoke to Menta. This achievement in this very, very short space of time of nine years is, it came in very handy for us because we all understand that the EFF was formed simply because the current conditions and the status quo was not bringing anything better for our people. By the time we formed the EFF, it was 20 years in the democratic government. Under the democratic dispensation, people's lives, in particular a black child life, was not changing for any better. And that outcome, of both 2019 and 2021 elections, they came in very handy. We are now can say we in government, we can push government to come and bring the services. We can equally be the participants and contribute to the lives of our people through the government offices. And the issue of nationalization of mines and banks, expropriation of land without compensation, are you happy with how you are making strides there? So far, we are very happy with the voice. We are very happy with the levels of consciousness for our people because understand that when we formed the EFF and the seven non-negotiable cardinal pillars with the 14 complementary pillars, that was the message to conscientize society that without the nationalization of banks and the strategic sectors, the nationalization of mines to beneficiate our people, we cannot then win the economic freedom. Our people are dependent on their own resources, their own minerals, their own petroleum, and they are dependent on their own land. But as far as government is going, we, we are still fighting. You'll know that we just had the motion of uh, expropriation of land without compensation in Parliament, which was shut down by majority after they had hinted when we proposed the motion that they will support us. But obviously, you know who controls the status quo in South Africa. You know who controls the ANC, and you know where the agenda of the ANC is driven. And the they told us investors will go away and you understand who are the investors in this sense the investors are the one person who are controlling every stake in the uh, economy of this country let's also talk about the issue of education we see at the university of the free state for instance as well as central university of technology you are leading the students as the eff how far have you gone in terms of addressing the issue of free education as you were also central with the fismas for with the free education we are making strides because the first time we said every child for as long as you have passed your metric with the entry uh, qualification in terms of the criteria criteria required at a university at a technicon at any higher education institution we have told the children do not rely on the online application go the eff student command will receive you the eff student command will make sure you are registered there and our students are doing very well in terms of fighting for the people our students have managed to launch in all the universities the branches of the EFF as you have seen the previous week we produced the new leadership of the EFF with the president of the new uh, the, the new president of the EFF Sitolonzi who's going to be addressing as well today so our students are doing very well and we're very proud of them the issue of poverty chairperson in South Africa we know that is rife what can you say about that our people need to realize that they need to take charge. They need to stand up for themselves. They need to show that the ANC has not delivered to them because they told us this year in the SONA that the government is not responsible for creation of jobs. And if we as the South Africans, as in Africa, we cannot be in control of the economy, we don't work, government does not provide job does not does not uh, industrialize government is not beneficiating our people the issue of poverty is going to be a rhetoric we don't want it to be a rhetoric our people will want them to get out of the state of poverty but they have to stand up for themselves they know what to do they know that they have to vote out the government that does not 
support them, that does not contribute to their well-being. And they need to stand up even now between now and the elections. Because right around here in Mangawung, when we're addressing community meetings, there's piles of trash everywhere. This used to be a city of roses. It's a city of trash right now. There's piles of trash everywhere. There's dumping sites everywhere. And that's what the services that are supposed to come to the people are not coming to the people. Talking about Mangawung here in Bloemfontein, it's, it's a metro and you have managed to gain from 9 to 12 seats within the metro and you've been vocal about the issue of corruption and, and you know so what would you want to see happening given that also you have a, a, a key responsibility to play to make sure that you are turning around the situation that people of Mangawung are seeing themselves into. Our councillors in the city of Mangawung have done very well. Earlier this year, they even exposed the issue of sewerages that is spilling all over. That's how we enforce the councillors of Mangawung that are under the ANC to now release whatever budget that was allocated to the cleaning of townships, to the spillages, uh, blocking of the unblocking of the drainages, and ensuring that there is proper sanitation all around. So our councillors, they, they are pushing, but obviously, you know, when it comes to the crunch time where a decision has to be taken, a decision in the democracy of South Africa is taken by majority. It doesn't matter how much sense it makes. If the ANC does not feel that we are not going to benefit from it, they block it. But our councillors are really pushing and they, we had made the difference. Some of the spillages, president, our president came to inspect them and there was a movement in terms of government. We forced them to get out of their comfort zone. We forced them to release budget in order to cater and accommodate our townships in Mangawung. But the state of Mangawung is appalling.